It's really nice to have someone to help me here, but. I roll with the punches. I think I'm gonna have to move that support forward. I can only imagine without having that cardboard on it, that would be really scary. So that's sitting pretty nicely down at the uh, at the bottom there. Wow, I'm impressed. That is really cool. This is gonna be the pain in the neck, but we shall cross that bridge when we get to it. So yeah, this so far. It's super nice with the uh, seals. Down on the bottom, I think it's sitting very, very nicely. Spot on. And I think the only issue is, um, but I'm gonna mess with it a little, a little more. I would like to be able to place the radiator in place place it in place <laughs> anyway and then try to fit the um, the shroud I don't know it's gonna be tricky because it would be make it a lot easier and that way I could I would be able to connect the lower hose or as I like to say place it in place So I do not know if this is going to give me enough room. Probably won't because A arms. So, hmm. I shall test it first. See what the, the thing looks like. And then I have to, um, I would like to leave it wrapped for the time being, of course, even while I'm fitting the, um, the shroud or vice versa, whichever comes first. Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. But this, so far, this is a very good first step. Yeah. This is awesome. I may have to find a way to um, see if I can still pull this forward just about an additional inch to two inches, but I need to find a way to um, hold this in place. So I'm gonna have to use some kind of a strap or something. Anyway, awesomeness. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys, I think my um, trimming job there worked fine. It gives me plenty of room to operate that petcock. So I think we'll call that a success. And I hope that, that uh, the petcock is gonna do its job properly. 
the old one was the same style and it worked fine so I don't see why this one wouldn't wouldn't work just as well but anyway that is much better instead of bending those those wings out of the way so very cool well I have this somewhat securely strapped and pushed forward as far as forwards that it'll go and I have some bungee bungee cords doing the doing that uh, job and next I want to see if I can somehow fit that um, rod in there. Not really holding my breath for this one because this is quite quite a gigantic thing. So yeah, this is not gonna help. clear that um, the water pump pulley and even if I take it out the uh, studs are still in place which I cleverly lock, uh, red lock tighted them in, in place lock tighted them is that a, a new word so Let's see if there's any other way of fitting this sucker in here. See this? I don't know if you can see it from there, but there's an opening here. Maybe it should open it up a little bit. That wouldn't be too, too horrible, right? I hate to do stuff like that, but... Sometimes the problem is you get past a couple of studs and then this thing is stuck in there. So, yeah, this is as far as it'll go, I think. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. But I think I'm on the right track. I think this would be the easiest way to fit this. And again, if I If I decide to um, do a little trimming here, it would be minimal. Maybe remove this little portion here and then a little dip here and uh, I don't know. I do not think that would affect how the thing works as far as uh, pulling uh, ram air or air in general through. But that would certainly make it, I think, a lot easier to, uh, to install. And then I can actually hook up that hose right there. So, maybe again just a very small kind of basically extend this and i'm actually if i do that i'm going to measure it to make sure that it's 
identical or equidistant. Is that right? Equidistant? I don't know. Yeah. And again, I may need a little dip here to clear a couple of the studs. But first, I would cut this portion here. Let me think a little bit about it, and I'll get back to you. Well, quick up update. Before getting on my butcher knives, I pull this thing out maybe a half an inch and that actually gave me enough room to uh, drop this thing into place mostly right now I think it's it is being stopped by the um, water neck on this side which which is not Well, if, that, if I go in that direction, this is this is going too far, I think. So I better stop. See, this thing gets caught. But anyway. Get it out of there, it's just cut kind of the bottom. There we go. So what I'm thinking is because this is pushed forward, this is not falling into place perfectly, which is understandable. So here's my plan. And and that um is gonna be to um I'm gonna go ahead and attach the lower hose. First, of course, I'm gonna get my new clamp that I bought, and I have no idea where I put it. Here it is. I bought, I was at the auto parts store the other day. I don't know if I mentioned this already. But I bought these Smart Seal Ideal clamps and they look awesome. So I'm gonna, and, and this hopefully would allow me to just use one instead of two clamps, which looks, I don't know, it doesn't look right. So, I'm going to take this out, hopefully, without much trouble, and, and I'll be super happy if I do not have to chop this um, in any way, shape, or, or form. That is always, oops, the last recourse. See, if you work smart, you don't have to work hard. And this is awesome because it is protecting all the little fins or veins. <sighs> so, yeah, this is cool. So anyway, let me see about installing the hose and I'll be back. Okie dokie. So I have my clamp. I tightened it a little bit. I already test fitted the, uh, the clamp onto the lower hose to make sure it's gonna be okay. I tell you, these things look pretty, pretty cool. So I think it's going to do a better job than a traditional clamp. One thing I wanted to mention is, 
since you have to tighten it from below, you have to make sure that this is pointing the right way. I think that would be fine. And what I'm gonna do is, so I don't forget, just place it in there. And I, like I said, already in the, in the right position. This may move a little bit once I reposition the uh, radiator once the shroud and everything is in place. So that's why I don't want to tighten it just yet, but I want to have it ready to go. And I'm going to glue the heck out of this neck here and try to do the same thing for the uh, for the hose and that is gonna I mean this is gonna be awesome because this is gonna be almost all the way in here and this one super duper clamp is really I think gonna do an awesome job so let me get some lube let's get some lube and um yeah let me do that. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be using. Water-based lubricating gel. And yes, it is a personal lubricant because I have a very special relationship with my Corvette. That is stupid. We're gonna leave that com comment out. But anyway, you do not want to use anything petroleum based. And no matter how much coolant you get out of the system, there's always going to be some in there. So let's remove this thing because I don't think we're going to need that, do you? And let me lube my hose. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see the next if I can. I know some people have to trim these things, but I don't think I have to. Look at that. Oh heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. This is so much easier. So much better. That's a new word for today, better -er. This clamp is gonna rub you a little bit here. I don't know if I like that or not. Can I still get at it from below? I have to flip it around because I don't like that if it starts hitting the frame and I cannot adjust it properly. Now is the time. So let's see. It's facing this way. I think I think I'm gonna flip this thing around. These things are just a pain in the ass. Oh my goodness. Whew. I'm not kidding. Okay, so it's like that. Let me try it this way. There we go. Yeah, I think that gives me a little adjustment, a little room for adjustments if I need to. Look at that. Who said this? It was hard. I don't want to jinx myself here. But anyways. Got that in place. Oh, heck yeah.
just a little coolant. Again, no matter how careful you are, you're gonna get some, I mean, there's still gonna be some in there. Anywho, I better stop cleaning, otherwise I'm never gonna, never gonna quit. So, let's check that uh, shroud again. See if I remember how I did this the first the first time when it actually worked. somewhat in place but of course not all the way to the bottom there I think the bottom lip with that um, seal slides under the uh, support and I have these two tabs with That's here. I I can't get my hand in there. Ouch! But overall, is somewhat in place. And again, I have this kind of tilted forward, so maybe I'm gonna release that. Am I still recording? Yes. Wow, six minutes into this saga. And it's only a part of it. Yeah. I'm gonna let this one go. And maybe um sure that those little tabs down at the bottom are over the um, the right place for the uh, for me to tighten them because right now this is very it's kind of pushed out so I think that's the issue let me uh, lift the car again and uh, see what I can do from below